You guys are ready? We're gonna be going over some recipes. These are some of my favorite videos to film. I have this love-hate relationship with social media like TikTok and Instagram and even YouTube. I love to go over there and check it out. I love that I get to bring you these TikTok recipes that maybe you wouldn't have seen otherwise because you're not on TikTok. I hate that I feel like I spend way too much time over there. So in case you haven't guessed already, today's video is gonna be about recipes that went viral over on TikTok. Now these may not have been keto initially, but I've converted them for you. The recipes that you see today were not created by me. I will put the creator in the description box below. They deserve all the love. So if you do have TikTok, make sure you go let them know. So welcome, I'm Christy. I have an entire playlist of these types of videos, so make sure you go check them all out. I think there's around 11 now. Over here on my channel, we're gonna be doing recipes, meal prep, grocery hauls, what I eat in a day, blood sugar, tests it's gonna be keto low carb and diabetic friendly so if you've not subscribed already I'd love it if you went ahead and done so make sure you hit that notification bell so that when I upload you'll know follow me over on Instagram I'll have my name at the bottom of the screen and in the description box I'll have my TikTok and Facebook group linked check me out over there you're gonna see lots of additional content that you have not seen over here and while you're in the description box don't forget look for any deals or sales that are going Going on and I have tons of discount codes for you guys so you can save some money on some of your favorite keto items there's also a list that I keep in the description box and that is going to be my favorite keto products or my favorite weight loss journey products things I feel like I've needed in my life and it has made this process so much easier so make sure you check out that list also okay let's go ahead and get started and let me show you some of these delicious recipes I'm ready to eat You know that I have a love of garlic, butter, and cheese. This has all three. So when I found this TikTok, I knew I had to have this in my life and it was gonna be so easy to make low carb friendly. It's from Homemade Simple, the ultimate cheesy garlic bread. We're just using garlic butter, mozzarella cheese, and tortilla shells. And I knew we could use our keto friendly low carb tortilla shells. They put theirs in the oven, gave zero information as far as how long and at what temperature. So. I went ahead and preheated mine to 350 degrees. This is the low carb tortilla shells that I picked up at Sam's last month. They're just the carb counter. This is the family pack, but they're in the snack size. But you can use the larger tortilla shells if you want to. Three net carbs per tortilla shell, and we're gonna be using quite a few of these. So you're gonna want to make this into several servings. So make it for dinner one night as your garlic bread for you and the family. I started out by making my own garlic butter. Added several tablespoons of butter to my bowl. Add a little bit of minced garlic, a little bit of Italian seasoning, garlic powder, salt, then mix well. Now let's start the layering process. Tortilla shell, layer of garlic butter, layer of mozzarella cheese. Now repeat with your next layer. The TikTok that I watch did four different layers, ending with tortilla shell, butter, then cheese. If you want to go with just two or three, that that's perfectly acceptable. Do what fits into your carb count. You know what I always say, go big or go home. So I did go four layers, ended with cheese because you want that to get nice and bubbly and crispy and brown when it's in the oven. But while I was assembling this deliciousness here, I realized you could do so many different things. If you wanted to make it spicy garlic bread, you could add jalapenos between the layers. You could even put pizza toppings between each layer. So many different ideas. Now it's going into that 350 degree oven. This was actually in about 10 minutes before it started getting golden brown. I'm gonna let it sit here and cool for a few seconds because with all those layers of cheese, this will just be a disaster if I try now. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this. I'm gonna use a pizza cutter. Plan is to make four servings out of this. And there's the inside. You can see all the butter and the cheese. The bottom even got crispy. I already had my piece before dinner. I'll try to restrain myself and save some for the rest of the family. No promises. 
Let's talk about Brussels sprout chips because I feel like Brussels sprouts get a bad rap. I love them now. Never before until I started keto did I like Brussels sprouts. And I make them at least once a week. Now you can make Brussels sprout chips and we're talking crispy chips. This recipe is from Kayla's Kitchen and Fix. This looks delicious. Do you know what that is? Crispy Brussels sprout chips. And this is going to be a little time consuming. Before we even get into this recipe, I wanna mention, because I know it's coming, can you do this in the air fryer? No, I would not recommend it because you know how strong those air fryers are. These are going to be the little leaves from the Brussels sprouts. They're gonna fly everywhere. It's gonna be a disaster. They're gonna burn, go with an oven. And honestly, I rarely, rarely say, hey, let's fire up the oven because I love my air fryer. And I have entire videos dedicated to air fryer recipes. Go check out that playlist. This one, I would suggest doing it in the oven. I have a bag of fresh Brussels sprouts here. I picked these up, I believe at Aldi. Yeah, right there. I got these at Aldi. You're gonna need a bowl for this. Go ahead and start out by cutting the ends off of your Brussels sprouts. Now we're gonna peel back each individual leaf. It truly takes a few seconds. You got kids, make it a game. Let them do it. But believe me, in the end, it's all gonna be worth it. Now we're gonna take this and add it to our bowl. There really are no measurements for this recipe. Just fill up your bowl till you're satisfied. Now that I have those in my large bowl, I'm gonna drizzle oil on top. So whatever your favorite oil is, I'm gonna be using the extra virgin olive oil. I just picked this one up at Walmart and it's organic. Drizzle that over top and then I'm gonna give this a really good shake and then drizzle some more. Now that I have those completely coated on both sides with oil, I'm gonna add in some pink salt you can add whatever seasonings that you like. I'm gonna sprinkle in some of the Flavor God Garlic Lovers seasoning. I have a discount code for them linked in the description box. They're keto-friendly seasonings and they're very affordable. It also seems like they're always having a sale. I have about 10 different seasonings at this point and I have loved every one of those. Now I'm just going to shake again until I get this completely coated with those seasonings. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper. You want them to be in a single layer, not all bunched up. That way they're gonna crisp up really quickly and evenly. Into a 400 degree oven, which I had already preheated for approximately 10 minutes. Now we're gonna be keeping an eye on these in case any get done quicker than the others. We will be removing those as it happens. I'll show you guys. So I'm at about the eight minute mark and these aren't all completely done, but you can see how some have got crispy quicker. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those, add them to a plate, and then put the pan back in the oven until the rest of these are done. This is another one of those recipes where the possibilities are endless. You're gonna be able to season these with anything. I've made them before just using salt and garlic powder. So you can pick them up, dip them if you want, I like to dip these in spicy ranch, or you can just eat them as a side dish. This is perfect for movie nights. If you got kids, they're eating chips, they're eating their candy, you're sitting down to watch Netflix, make you some Brussels sprout chips. You'll thank me. So easy. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.